This is David, Mr. DIY Solar, as well as Tennessee Valley Solar. I'm here with my mini split that I'm working on installing. Another quick update here on my installation of this Senville mini split air conditioner. This is 18,000 BTUs on the outside compressor and 9,000 BTUs on each of two inside air handler units. I've got the track run for the lines that go up to each of these two bedrooms here. I have run this flexible conduit that the Romex goes through as well as I've got the wiring for the two inside air handlers hooked up and I have cut down the second two set of line sets here they're all running through all of this track here and I've got the drain lines hanging down here Potentially, I should have one of those drain lines just hanging down on the other side, over at that corner over there. I'll see how it works with the drain line coming down here, if it drains appropriately. If not, I'll just have to pull back the piece of drain line that is over here and pull it back so it hangs down over on that corner. So I have to finish hooking up these lines over here. I'm going to use my vacuum pump and gauge set here to vacuum out these lines and make sure that they hold a vacuum. And then I'm going to hook up all the wiring on this side and I'm going to hook this Romex into this breaker box here. I'm going to disconnect this older full-size air conditioner unit and I'm going to connect these this mini split to the double-pulled breaker that used to power the uh, used to power this air conditioner here. Alright so I think I'm just about done with this. Hopefully today I'll be able to get this turned on and running. And I will tack on a other update when we do that. And again, this has been David with Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. I hope this has been useful as I complete this journey to get this mini split installed. All right, thanks so much. And I have hooked up the lines and tightened everything up there. I've also hooked up the power input as well as the power that goes to the inside air handlers. They're all hooked up. And I have hooked up the wire to its breaker over there. Uh, I'm going to test it out and see what happens and then put the lid back on the breaker box. And I have hooked up the hoses to the pump as well as the gauge. And so in a minute I'm going to turn on this pump and get these lines pumped out. You're going to want to run the pump for about 15 minutes and then with the pump still running, I'm going to close that blue knob right there and then turn the pump off and then you'll want to let the gauge sit for about 15 minutes to make sure that it's maintaining a vacuum. If it is, then I can go ahead and release Freon into the first line and take off the gauge. And then I can do the same thing for the second.
set of lines. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this pump on. It's rather noisy, so I've left that off. I'll turn that pump on and we'll watch it start pulling down a vacuum and then we'll see how that works and after that's done I will update I've got I labeled mine the yellow line goes to the pump and the blue line goes to the compressor and so and there are Allen wrench openings inside of each of these after after it's vacuumed out you can go ahead and open those and that will release the Freon into the lines all right I'm gonna run this pump and we'll see what happens open this And it's almost down to a PSI of negative 30. We'll see how that goes for about 15 minutes. And then I'll turn it off and close the blue knob on the gauge and see if it maintains the vacuum. All right, well, I'll update that in a few minutes. All right, thanks. Okay, the pump right here ran for about 15 minutes and then I've let it sit for about 15 minutes. And the needle is still down at negative 30 psi. So next I am going to turn this Allen key for about five seconds. I'm going to turn it for about a quarter turn for about five seconds and then close it. And the pressure should go up in here as I release a little Freon into the lines. close and make sure that the pressure of the Freon that was just released is going to stay right there at that pressure for a few minutes and see what happens if it stays at that pressure then we are good to go ahead and move on to the next the next one and get that get that one done okay all right well I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this blue line and move it up to the B position and if and get that one running and then once that one's vacuumed out, I should be able to open that one a little bit, release some Freon into that. And if that holds, I'm going to go ahead and open all four of those all the way open. And then I should be set to go ahead and try to turn it on and see if it runs. All right, thanks. Okay, I have released the Freon outside. And all the valves on the outside unit are open and the freon is flowing to both of the inside head units they're both on and i've got them set to heat mode and set to 72 degrees and they're outputting a noticeable amount of heat there and they're very quiet 
and this is seeming to be working good so I'm super happy with having gotten this done getting this unit installed was a good deal more work than my previous installation as this was two head units as well as needing to connect to 220 versus just doing 110 but I would have had to do much of this work if I had put in two separate single one-to-one -one head units and putting in one outside head outside unit I guess works out to be pretty good so glad to get these guys running as a little bit of a review uh, the buying the system you will get a lot of paperwork and manuals and both of the inside head units comes with a complete set of manuals and they each come with their own remote and a little mount for the remote little filter little thing to connect the drain and they both both the inside units come with fittings to connect on the ends of the pipes which is kind of strange because the pipes come with these things installed on the ends and the outside compressor also has these things installed on the compressor itself and the compressor ships with a separate set of these fittings so because of having installed this system i have a bunch of these things left over and because i was using the ones that came with the line sets i didn't need any of the extra ones i didn't need the ones that shipped with the separate with compressor or the ones that ship separate with the head units so, and also didn't need the ones that shipped connected to the compressor itself. I just used the ones that were already on the ends of the line sets. But, I'm uh, pretty happy with having gotten this done. And, they seem to be pretty quiet and are doing their jobs and pumping out heat and... Ran them for a little while on cool, and they produced some cooling as well. So, glad with, for getting these installed. So, I think that finishes my installation of these Senville Mini Split Dual Head Unit. This has been David, Mr. DIY Solar, and Tennessee Valley Solar. Hope this has been useful. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.